I'm jumping back into another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully this soundtrack is not copyrighted. <laughs> but we're going eastbound. We got the whole crew with us. They're a little ahead of us and everything. And I think the game is finna get more surgical than we just was witnessing. I kind of butchered everything. Some spots here and there. Didn't know what I was doing, but it is what it is and what it's gonna be. Hope you're enjoying the series. We're gonna try to continue to knock out this game. I don't know how to upload a B, but getting back into the, the game. Clip. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. think if they wanted trouble we wouldn't have seen them poor bastards we really screwed them over down here come on let's not push our luck what happened well get in I'll tell you <clears throat> Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your track? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. 
You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. I'm looking at the arrow. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm supposed to go off in there. I'm just going to bust this Stretch left and then go right. around. Eve Odd said they didn't feel right, so I guess we do have to go off in here, in here. Yeah, I got a different... I think I put the map in like compass or something like that. To look at the arrow instead of looking at the yellow line or whatever. But in the cinematic, it'll just take you where you need to go. If you got the waypoint or if you're in the store. Or whatever the case may be, go in and just let it navigate a sip. You just tap X. Or hold X, whatever you want to do with that. But yeah, this is the cap right here. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. But now. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place here is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. 
I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Oh. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Ooh, we we out here now, baby. This is the first little camp. Turn up the radar. Now I'm gonna shave and all this and that hoo ha. I got still on the last mission. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Oh well, yeah, we finna get more serious and we finna hit them home. I would cut it here, but as I said in the intro video, I can't put the controller down, so I'm uh, most, more than likely to put another episode with this, and I'm going to change clothes and bounce right back into it and do that off screen. And we back. Still on and let's sound, sound different. <laughs> change up the visual a little bit. We're going to hop on into another mission. 
the seat. Turn the radar back on. Oh, yeah, that's a kill. Hey, Arthur. Hey, he ain't wasting no time. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there, we'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. This way. Come on. Are you going to mount up? Okay, boy. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was... Passed out so cold, we left him there. Came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Stables are just up ahead. Yeah, that's it, boy. All right, go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. I'll meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But 
Your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Why I gotta sell my horse? Ain't nothing wrong with my horse. I've been a little heavy on the stand. You gonna say stamina on the handle, but man, get out of here. And then I gave me a horse for fifteen dollars, really. Oh man, get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to this game. Oh man. 15. I'm kind of mad now. I really was kind of up to the beat if I wanted to, and I was trying, I was thinking about coming out of here, but I couldn't get out of here, so we just gonna, I guess, get in where we fit in. And they wanted me to buy a new one. I think I still had that other horse, by the way, too. So, yeah. Now I'm just playing around with the hairstyles. <laughs> Them braids, funny. But the price of. I can't buy nothing. I'm at zero. Might as well just go through it like for real, for real, and just see what's all in here. Give you guys a little peek if you if you haven't played it for real. But yeah, I'm at zero. I think I supposed to have been sold the other horse, and if I end up coming back one time off screen or on screen, I just see the other horse still here. I think I could have sold it for like sixty five bucks. That's some nice upgrades though. And the, the story of this game is going to be long, long. But I ain't rushing through it. I'm enjoying playing it. So, man, six years is a long time. And I think I played it on a four. And I just was playing a five and seeing it on there. And just decided to just come on back with it. I said, hmm, this would be a nice series. And the way I'm doing the recording and and having the, like, I feel like a, a legit editor a little bit. Like, I gotta move stuff over to the, man, to the computer. <laughs> oh, man. But I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I said I was showing y'all some stuff. Yeah, because I can't buy not nothing. Look at the right hand corner at the top. Zero. I can't even speak 25 shit. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a I fine new do. horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. Okay. You have my word on that. All right, then. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. I wonder they give my clothes. Here stuff are your papers. And on me. A new... Grooming brush and oh, some bro. treats. <laughs> really? Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Mm-hmm. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not very much. Okay. Fifteen dollars. Well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. I thought she was gonna get take off. All right, let's get going. <laughs> We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. 
But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. And he knows that. Yeah, ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. the other side. It's all right, boy. <laughs> yep. yep. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting. I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike? I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Why you doing like the year with me on blade like that? But yeah, we got the pistol. We might be hunting a little something. More like camp out. Uh, and then a little bit, like, if I was to just be free roaming, I guess, set up me a nice little tent and come on out here and do a little hunt. I'm going to try to do better this time. I still got my arrow just in case, but... I realize I gotta go down into the yellow. <laughs> yep, yeah, I was in the wrong spot. Y'all didn't see it. I'm leaving it in too. Alright, now we got a little shun shun. Oh, 
Huh. Told y'all I wouldn't do better. Hey, focus in a little bit, but we got a little of rabbit. I ain't do no study on them and then. I ain't need you, my pistol, and use no, uh, no ammo. Skinny, skin, skin. Yeah, that's some fur. Yeah, we got us some money. Little black tail, jack rabbit. Run back up here, I hope to see you. Good job. Ah, what do? All right. It's getting late. Wreck, we should camp here. Sure. Charlotte, you gotta set up. They really tell still uh, kind of teach me the game a little bit. Like I said earlier, it's weird playing a game six years later. Famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Welcome, wild, wild, we enjoy the camping. Hi. Ooh, wee. I like it. I like it. It just brings back the smiles from it. Is. I'm playing it and everything. While I'm playing it and everything, I see it playing it. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. Eating it up. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Is you getting food? All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Hey. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so... What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. Then the cuts ain't all me A cup of coffee. Mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff. Yeah, put the fire out. Man. I like it. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. 
She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. He sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
pee hole in the gun. What I supposed to do? Now we wait. You ran with the gun, huh? Thousand pounds, you say? More Man, or less. Big scar down his face. Man, what my little pistol going to do? Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Yeah, my heart race. Let's just take a look at that bait. Man, you tripping. Sure. Come on. Hey, you we only just walk. said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guarantee something to pop off. Give me a hand here. Give me Got a you nice. Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. <laughs> Man, you're fine, old man. Of course, I'm fine. It's, it's nothing, Ugh. nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think it <laughs> <That> was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think yeah, I'm going hand back hand. to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, yeah, no, I'm alone. You coming you. or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. Good, man. You three, you found him, Steve. Oh, nah, he didn't give me the shotty. Or oh, whatever he had, the rifle. You were helping a hundred bear, thousand pounds with a pistol. You crazy. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry Ooh. about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Well, that was another mission. Boom, bleep. And I thought I just hit my whole chip. Oh, hey. Okay, boy. Let's go. And I know I ain't tripping. Oh, we're not hitching it up. I'm just getting off. I'm leaking it in the comments. Oh, hey. Come on, I'll get it right. There we go. Yeah, my horse got a craze and I can go get him. Just looking at the stats and everything. Isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow? Why are you so chipper? We're gonna be good. We are gonna be great. Faith, my son. Faith. Get out of my face, dude. But I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna continue to give you guys more episodes. More on the way. I'm out.